Agro 100 series controller, you can control vent and shade systems that are currently being controlled by the iDrive series motor controller. Once you have properly installed your shade and vent motor to the iDrive and have the motor working off the iDrive manual override switch that's located on this front panel, you can interlink both the iGro 100 series controller and the iDrive for smooth and harmonious operation. Note, the iGro 100 series controller, the 400 or 800, must first have the vent and curtain support feature installed on the controller, and the motor controller must have a 24 volt power source with an open, close, and common signal. With this installation, you will need to isolate two neighboring channels, the first odd and the second even, one and two, three and four, five and six, etc. And for your low voltage connection runs, you want to use stranded wire 18 gauge for runs less than 250 feet and 16 gauge American wiring gauge for runs less than 750 feet. Now, to do this installation, we're going to go ahead and give you a better view of the wiring locations to wire your low voltage wiring. Now, as you can see, we have opened the iDrive and the 800 series controller to show you where the lanyard wiring for this application. On the iDrive J1 portion of the printed circuit board, located in the lower right corner on the back of the iDrive door, you want to locate one, the control close signal, two, the control common signal, and three, the control open signal. At this location, you want to land your three wire strand, run it through the bottom of the liquid tight connectors, and continue your wire run towards the Agro 800 series controller. Once you reach the Agro 800 series controller, you want to go ahead and now identify what paired opening you want your wires to be installed in. Now for this example we're going to choose outputs number one and outputs number two to be the location where we're going to land our paired opening. Now as you can see we have landed the open signal which is the red wire to the positive one. We have landed the close signal which is the black wire to positive two and we have landed at the 24 volt common coming from the iDrive transformer right there to the negative one jumping to the negative two which is the yellow wire. Now that we have established our wiring setup let's go ahead and test the iDrive to make sure that the connectivity has now been established. Now to do this we're going to go ahead and go to toggle number one and two and simply put both these toggles one and two to the off position and so what I'm going to do is flip number one to the on position and notice the left contactor which is the open contactor on the iDrive engage as you can see number one output works go ahead and turn number one off and go ahead and flip number two and watch the right contactor engage. And the right contactor engages. Flip both toggles to the off position, then to auto, and now the Agro 800 is ready for programming to automatically run this iDrive. And all you have to do now is switch the iDrive front selector switch to auto, and you're on your way. And that's our video on connecting the Agro 800 series controller to the iDrive series motor controller.